Hi everyone, thank you very much uh, for joining our lesson today in the Virtual 101, Virtual Assistance uh, 101 Learning Series. And we're going to focus on audio and video uh, transcription. And of course, if you have questions at any point, all you need to do is just uh, press that raise your hand button. And uh, please open your browsers because we're really going to try out uh, some of the applications. Uh, we're going to visit a lot of websites. Uh, that may help you get audio and video transcription jobs. And of course, I would like to have an idea also where you're from, so you can also use the chat box and let us know where you're from. All right, so let's continue. So when it comes to audio and video transcription, these are some of the requirements that you would typically see uh, when you look for transcription jobs. Of course, one of the critical elements for a transcription job is that you must have good listening skills. And good listening skills is not just about what is being said, but also being able to identify the voices. For example, if there are five people conversing and you are listening to an audio file, you must be able to, to, to distinguish who was talking uh, in the video so or, or in the audio file that you are transcribing. When you are transcribing uh, a video file, then it's easy because you'll be able to spot the person. But if you're transcribing purely from audio, that means also being sensitive to the sounds that you hear and you'll be able to identify the voices of the people that you hear um, since usually you won't have their names except for person one, person two, person three, person four, person five. No? Um, this is where also fast and accurate time, typing comes into play. When you're doing web research, uh, the need to be fast or when you're doing actual transcription, if the client is not in a rush, then the need to be fast may not be there or may not be present or may not be compelling. However, if you're doing transcription, which are usually time-bound, uh, like you need to get back within a day or you need to get back within two days, uh, the quality of your, the speed and quality of your work matters, especially if your intention is to get uh, as many transcription jobs because if you want to get many transcription jobs, usually you will not be able to get a second job or a third job until you're done with the job that you're currently working on. So the more you want to finish, trans the more transcription jobs you want to finish, then the more it is imperative for you uh, to be fast and accurate in what you do. Uh, your levels and the rate that you're getting will also be dependent on how accurate, what is your accuracy level no, for the kind of transcription work that you do. And of course, there are sites that you can visit if you want to practice, and we're going to visit some of the sites later as well. And you have to also be familiar with the process that, that the site that you're joining is following so that you don't get frustrated also, especially if you're expecting this to be simple and then all of a sudden um, you're getting a lot of feedback for your work that uh, you feel might be bogging you down instead of making you more effective or efficient in what you do. Now, for equipment, of course, you need to have a desktop or laptop. If you're transcribing using an online software, then fast internet also comes into play. You also need to have a reliable head headset. Kailangan ayos siya kasi minsan, di ba, may mga headset na pagtagal-tagal, siguro yung wire niya nagdoloko. So, instead of you hearing in a balance yung sound sa left and right ear mo, minsan, mas malakas siya sa right ear kaysa sa left ear. So, pag tagal-tagal, sasakit ang ulo mo noon o sasakit ang tenga mo, no? So, please make sure that you don't ignore that, no? Uh, gumamit tayo ng maayos na headset at talagang ingatan natin yung headset natin para hindi tayo bili ng bili ng bagong headset, no? Uh, yung foot pedal, uh, usually this is dependent on the software that is being used, pero you don't normally invest on this right away. Uh, some clients will only require you to buy one kapag Na-hire ka na talaga. Unless, of course, you're there to really practice at uh, gusto mo as early as now, masanay ka na kagad gumamit ng foot pedal, then you can invest in purchasing a foot pedal. Um, for transcription, usually, pag, pag talaga mga simple work lang, pwede Microsoft Word lang yung ginagamit o pag-transcription. Pero kung gusto mo talaga mas maging efficient at depende kung ano yung ginagawa mong project, then there are other uh, softwares that can also be used. And we're going to look at them. And uh, the nice thing about transcription jobs, unlike in data entry, there's not much websites that really specifically state that they are for data entry. If you remember the last time yung mga pinuntahan nating websites, 
to look for data entry jobs are not necessarily data entry jobs. Parang may mga iba-iba silang pinapagawa. That, of course, for you to record your work will require data entry. However, for transcription jobs, talagang malinaw na clearly data entry talaga siya. No? Uh, kaya kailangan mo pa rin daanan yung data entry para mapa-improve mo yung speed mo, as we discussed the last time. Pero dito naman, uh, kailangan mo pa rin improve in siya. Pero ang perspective naman dito is you're listening to something at yun yung inaayos mo at yun yung ginagawa mo. So we're gonna visit all of these websites uh, one by one. Alright? So let's uh, let's get started in visiting some of the sites. So let's start first with the software that you can use. Uh, karamihan ng mga uh, job online job opportunities for for transcription would 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 likely ask you kung anong software ang ginagamit mo. So some of the software that is quite popular for digital media transcription. Uh, whether you're working with an audio or a digital file includes uh, Inkscribe, okay? So, meron siyang mga media controls. Pwede kang kumamit ng USB foot pedal para maka, makapag-transcribe ka. So, you can you can try the software if you like. Uh, yung nga lang, meron siyang free download. Tapos kung gusto mong, pero magkakaroon ka lang ng 14-day trial license. Pero kung gusto mo talaga siyang gamitin ng full license, magbabayad ka ng $99. Pero if you just want to give it a shot, uh, you can do that. Now, another software that you can, uh, another site na meron din siyang binibigay na software, oh, I mean, platform siya for transcribing, I see ftwtranscriber.com. Uh, no? So you can also try it for free. Pwede kang gumamit ng uh, foot pedal din. So normally, ang suggestion ko sa inyo, huwag kagad kayong bumili kasi tingnan nyo rin naman talaga kung ano yung project na gagawin nyo. At, uh, at kung ano yung i-prescribe ng client nyo, then doon kayo mag-decide kung talaga mag invest kayo para at least yung earnings mo will be good enough uh, to pay for the investment that is uh, necessary, no? Um, so, yan si Inscribe. Uh, kanina, kapos yun si FTW, no? Yan yung next natin tinignan. So, sarado na natin siya. And then, meron ding uh, another site, which is Transcribe, that, how do you pronounce this? Parang really.com. So, you can also check that out as one of the sites that you can visit para makapag-practice ka ng transcribing. So, so automatic audio to text. Parang kasi kung tutusin yung mga audio to text uh, transcription, di naman talaga siya ganun kadaling gamitin. No? Kaya dito, um, karamihan ng transcription talaga is manual pa rin. So ito, ang maganda sa transcribe.3d.com, wala siyang ginagamit na na software that it that requires you na i-download siya. Yung nga lang, ang challenge, syempre, meron kang iya ano na license, no? So, meron siyang meron siyang licensing na ni require. Alright? So, pero nakalagay naman dito, ano yan? First, you start your first week. Start your free week of transcribe. So, at least magagamit mo siya ng one week for free. So, pwede mo pa rin pag-experimentuhan to and give it a shot, no? So, so that's uh, transcribe, really. Now, if you want to develop your typing capacity and transcribing capacity, may mga websites na pwede ka mag-practice. So, halimbawa, kagaya nito si stenospeed.com. Uh, you can go to that website, tapos i-click nyo lang yung sound files. So, for example, kung gusto mo makinig ng sound file na 40 words per minute, ayan. So, pwede mong pakinggan yung dictation, tapos pwede mo rin pakinggan yung text. So, halimbawa, uh, tignan natin yung medical dictation. Ah, ginownload yung file sa atin. Tapos, pag, pag inano mo na yan, ah, uh, the sound files below are timed for 40 words per minute at varying degrees of densities. Kapos yung iba may accompanying text. So, kung gusto mo makita yung text, pwede mo tignan kung ano yung nakalagay dun sa text. 
So, kaya pag hindi ka sanay, then pwedeng mahirapan ka na i-ano yung text. Kaya maganda kung magta-try kayo ng mga trial na transcription sites. Maganda rin sana kung makita niyo yung mga test o yung mga text na output para maging familiar kayo sa kanya. Kagaya nito, na medyo medical to, this is a medical dictation. So if you're not familiar with medical terms, you might have a difficulty na gumawa pa ng medical type of transcription work. Pero siguro kung yung mga business, pwede pa siguro. No? Uh, ito, high-frequency words na transcription. Okay, so 200 frequently used words. So makikinig ka sa kanya. Uh, other high-frequency words too. So yan, yeah, example din siya. So I think marami kayong matututunan kapag pinractice siya. Tapos yan, may mga mapapakinggan ka ng transcription. Tapos, uh, i-input mo siya kung alam mong letter. So, kailangan pag tinranscribe mo siya, uh, good na siya enough for a letter at pwede na siyang gamitin ng person na nagtitake ng test. Alright? Okay. So, let's uh, let's continue. Um, another side that you can also check out is uh, listen and write. Uh, pero si listen and write naman, ganun din, parang improve your listening skills. So, parang free listening uh, practice siya. So, meron silang, I think you, you also need to transcribe it. Tapos meron silang parang tinatawag na level test. No? So, you can save your audio si listen and write and dictate yourself. Pwede mo i-share, tapos pwede ka mag-collaborate for writing the transcript and improve your listening skills with dictation. So, ang intention niya is for practice siya. So, if you want to have a lot of practice, so that's one way to do it. I won't I encourage you to start applying for a job kagad for transcription nang wala kang practice. Kasi baka mamaya mag-fill up ka ng form, tapos i-delay mo yung onboarding process, like mag-sign up ka kagad. Alam ba, may nakita kang job opening for transcription. Karamihan ng mga transcription job openings, meron silang tinatawag na exams. So, halimbawa, nag-sign up ka, tapos hindi ka kagad nag-take nung hindi mo kinumpleto yung onboarding. By the time na ready ka nang i-complete yung onboarding, pag login mo, wala ka na makikita. Blurred na yung screen mo kasi hindi mo tinapos yung onboarding process. Magre-request ka pa na i-reactivate yung application mo. So, definitely, hindi gusto ng mga sites na parang half-hearted ka uh, na parang nag-sign up ka lang for the sake of curiosity pero wala ka naman talagang intention na mag-apply. So, iwasan natin yung uh, ganung klaseng behavior kasi uh, hindi siya makaka hindi siya makakatulong sa inyo, no? So, this is another website where if you want to develop yung capabilities niyo for medical transcription. So, kagaya nito, meron siyang uh, ayan no? improve the skills you need no? so kung pwede gusto mo mag-click mag-take ng test click mo lang siya and then uh, pwede ka na mag-start na mag-take mag-take ng test okay so yeah may aptitude level 1 test siya tapos may level 2 test siya so so this is interesting so anyway yung mga free test naman for as long as hindi siya nagpapalog in okay lang na i-take mo yung i-take niyo yung mga test for the sake of familiarity so you can take this web you can take this test at uh, meditech.com uh, so i just shared to you the link uh, just in case uh, interesado kayo matuto pa sa kanya all right so another site ah uh, sige so, so ito siguro yung mga sites na pwede na tayo mag-apply no so but before we proceed uh, are there any questions at this point Para medyo ano pa yung boses ko, no? Kasi ka, parang nakauwi ako madaling araw na yata. Kapos hindi pa ako nakatulog kagad. Nanood mo na ako para magpaantok. Pero I think I ended up being awake more. Kaya para medyo floating pa ang aking ano. Uh, pero do we have questions at this time? So if you don't have questions, kindly press the raise your hand button so we can go through the websites already. Alright, thank you very much. So let's go through the websites. Um, so, what sites can you visit to apply for transcription jobs? So, one of the sites that you can check out to apply for transcription jobs is quicktape.com. Siyempre, dapat bago kayo mag-apply, 
i-familiarize mo na yung sarili nyo kung ano ba yung services ng website na inyong ina-applyan. So, quick take daw, audit, summarizes, evaluates, and analyzes all your recordings and phone conversations. So, companies can be sure they are providing the highest level of support to their customers. So, mga customers nila, ayan, siguro mga mga conversations, mga meetings, tapos uh, yun yung kanilang tinatranscribe. So, so ang nangyayari siguro sa mga companies na to, instead of them hiring uh, secretaries na to do transcriptions for them, nagsasubscribe na sila sa isang service na para lahat ng itong mga audio files that requires transcription, pinapasok na lang nila sa isang site. no? Tapos, may ganito service. Halimbawa, kagaya yung to, mga clients niya, CNN, Ford, Wells Fargo. So, pwedeng itong mga companies na to, may account na sa kanya. Tapos, na anything for transcription, niya lagay na lang dyan. Tapos, kung natapos na, babalik na lang sa kanila. So, it saves them instead of hiring people na para lang maging transcriber nila. So, if you want to be a transcriber, si QuickTape, meron siyang sign-up process for transcribers. So, you can visit this website if you want to sign up as a transcriber. So, ang sabi nila, they transcribe voice messages, memos, legal letters, medical files, recording of phone calls, conference calls, and other audio files. So, may mga files daw na 2 to 3 minutes in length while others are longer. Okay? At, ah, uh, I dictate transcribes all types of files except for voicemail messages. So, ano rin yung mga requirements sa contractors? So, kailangan maging ano kayo dun sa ano yung requirements. Unang-una, accurate spelling. So, ano yung mga accurate spelling? Parang yung there at saka there. Di ba yung there? Merong uh, there, T-H-E-I-R. Tapos merong there, which is T-H-E-Y uh, uh, apostrophe. R-E. So, kung tutusin, yung there at saka there based on that example, hindi mo malalaman kung ano siya based on the pronunciation of the word. It's always in context. No? Alimbawa, pag sinabing uh, uh, she likes their offerings. Pag she likes their offerings, alam mo kagad na from context, T-H-E-R yon. Tapos, um, Pero kung ang ano niya, pinofocus niya para sa group of people, then alam mo kagad na iba yung Kyoto ko niya. No? So, um, so, kailangan maging conscious tayo kung ano yung, ano yung sinasabi. Kaya yung spelling and punctuation is very important. Individuals that know how to follow instructions because usually people will not talk to you. You will just see instructions like in a text like this. You can listen to voice files and accurately type what you can hear. Pwede may experience ka na. So, ang sabi nila dito, they're looking for experience and professional transcription is. So, kung first timer ka pa lang, baka hindi ka pa pwede mag-apply dito. Okay? Uh, kailangan din nila, meron ka raw sariling equipment, supplies, and facilities. You have honesty, integrity, and reliability. Hindi yung sabihin mo, Pinadala mo na yun, ay, nagdolo ko yung ano ko, hindi ko mapadala yung file. Pero actually, hindi mo pa pala na magagawa talaga. So, that that is a, that that questions your honesty, no? Uh, pag, that also questions your integrity and that questions your reliability. Wala ka raw cases, kapos kailangan mo raw mag-take ng typing quiz for each language or specialty that you are interested in. And you also may be required to analyze audio files. And i-require ka rin daw na mag-take ng test para mag-check nila kung na, naiintindihan mo yung kanilang requirements. At depende on how you how you fare on the quick take typing test, pwede ka na mag-offer ng services mo. Tapos kapag naging independent contractor ka na, you select your work hours, work as many hours as you want, tapos we can 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So, meron silang follow all procedures as required in our help desk. Yun ang nakalagay dito. Teka. Nag-ano yata tayo. So sabi dito, kailangan i-follow daw yung procedure nila na nakalagay sa help desk. Review yung HIPAA Business Associate Agreement. Fill out the form below. Tapos, uh, 
agree ka doon sa strict confidentiality. They also do uh, background checks. Kaya lang yung background checks, imbis na sila yung gumastos, uh, ikaw yung required na magbayad for the background check. Okay? So, kaya kailangan dito, uh, sigurado ka na talaga na disinido ka mag-apply kasi magbabayad ka ng $20 para doon sa background check. Okay? Tapos may mga tanong sila, no? Do you have Word Perfect, Excel, Express Scribe Pro? So, nagbabanggit na siya ng uh, software kung ano meron ka. So, kung ano yung wala ka, pwede sabihin mo lang, wala. Kasi, hindi, gaya nga na sinabi natin, huwag kang magsisinungaling. No? Pero alam naman nila na kung talagang kinakailangan, then pwede ka talagang kumuha. Um, tapos, meron silang, I have read the Typist Handbook, Company Policies, Confidentiality Agreement. So, may mga sinasabi siyang gano'n na dapat nabasa mo. Kaya, kailangan yung mga links na binigay niya, uh, kailangan maging familiar ka. Okay. So, may mga nakalagay dito na kailangan mong uh, i-review. Okay. So, ano ano yan? Um, so, kailangan lang sundin mo siya at maging aware ka sa kanya para huwag kang magkaroon ng problema. No? So, that's quick take. Okay, so if you want to learn more, kung ikaw ay experienced transcriptionist na and you just want to continue getting an online job, that is one site that you can uh, check out. Uh, yes, kaya rin require sila na magbasa ng HIPA. No? Karamihan ng mga medical, uh, ano siya, may HIPA siya. Tsaka kadalasan naman kasi ng mga nag-work for that, kadalasan may medical background din. So, sila yung para mas napipidi rin, no? for familiarity. So, another site that you can check out is uh, Scribi.com. So, si Scribi.com is actually an audio and video transcription company. So, you can check them out at Scribi.com. Tapos, sa uh, Scribi, mapapansin nyo, um, ang chinacharge na sa clients nila for transcription rate is at 0.60 per minute. Tapos, ang turnaround time na kinokomit nila sa client nila ay 5 days turnaround time. Tapos, for regular transcription, they are charging $1.20 uh, per minute. Tapos, 36 hours turnaround time. Pero kapag si client, ang gusto niya ay rush or 12 hours turnaround time, $2.40 ang kanyang chino charge. So, kung tutusin, uh, yung website nila, venue siya for both doon sa mga... Uh, Pare-pareho naman sila eh. Lahat sila tumatanggap ng online transcription jobs. Kapos kumukuha rin sila ng mga tao who can do the transcription jobs for them. So, ano yung kanilang four-step transcription process? Files are split into small parts para imbis na isang malaking file, binibigay lang sa isang tao. Ini-split nila into small files para maraming pwedeng gumawa ng, tra ng, ng trabaho. Therefore, mas madaling matapos yung trabaho. I think that makes sense. So, for example, if a transcription file is uh, 10 minutes, baka i-split nila yun sa 2 minutes or dalawang file na 5 minutes para dalawa hanggang limang transcribers ang pwede mag-work on sa isang file. Uh, lalo na kung malaki yung pool. And then there are reviewers who check the parts, add speaker ta tracking and time codes. Kaya kung tutusin, kung medyo magaling ka na doon sa ginagawa mo, possible na... Ma, ano ka, ma-promote ka. Pwede ka na maging reviewer, pwede ka na maging proofreader, pwede ka na maging quality checker. Pero syempre, para ma-promote ka, kailangan magpakita ka ng certain discipline sa iyong transcription output para mag-qualify ka for that. No? Uh, okay. Tapos, uh, yeah, they do progress tracking. So, yung mga clients sila can do progress tracking, free re review, May, meron din sila teleconferencing to record and transcribe calls at meron din sila mga group accounts. So, yung details na kanilang process, ito, ina-explain pa nila further. No? So, may mga pagpapaliwanag sila kung paano ginagawa. Alright? At uh, mapansin nyo, they promise a lot on confidentiality kaya kailangan yung mga transcribers natin nakakaintindi sa sa data privacy regulations no so sa Philippines meron tayong data privacy law at kailangan maging aware tayo diyan no um,
So, sabi nila dito, text of the transcript is broken into paragraphs and each speaker's dictation. Uh, teka, hindi ko pala nabigising yung link. Yung link kung paano mag-apply na, na ano ko. Ito, yung link para sa gusto mag-apply na sa transcribers. Ito siya. And then, yung link nila for the process, ito siya, na ini-explain nila, pati yung transcription uh, formats. No? We also provide audio time coding and speaker tracking. Okay? If speakers are provided in the video audio, they are used. If not, speaker 1, speaker 2, so on, are used. Kaya ito yung sabi natin, kailangan nakakapag-distinguish ka. Tapos, meron silang mga ano, uh, additional na charges na ginagawa para sa kanilang mga clients depending on the on the video files that get sent to them. No? Tapos meron siyang mga meron silang mga sample. Kaya maganda rin na makinig kayo ng mga sample. Kasi if you try to imagine na ikaw yung mag input yan, then dapat uh, may, mahinig ka makinig ng sample tapos nagtatranscribe ka. So, for example, makinig tayo ng conversation na yan. Hello? Hello? Yes. So, we're listening uh, to a transcription. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, hi, uh, this is Austin Tron from Taipei, Taiwan. Hi Austin, how are you? Ah, uh, yeah, fine. Uh, okay, uh, so today, uh, Rajiv, uh, could you uh, first uh, introduce yourself a little bit? Ah, uh, sure. Uh, well, uh, I'm a telecom professional here. Uh, I'm, uh, I, I graduated sometime in 1999. Okay. After... So, napansin nyo, no? Nakikinig ka, kapos nyo recording ka. So, kaya kung tutusin critical din yung ginagamit mo yung... Depende doon sa software that you use. Kaya usually meron sila mga pinaprescribe na software. Kasi yung mga timestamps... Kasi imagine mo kung ikaw mag enter ng timestamps. So, hindi sa nagdiretso ka lang sa pag encode mo, imaano mo pa yung timestamps. So, kaya sila, kadalasan, may mga timestamps na silang mga provided. Especially kapag ganito na may uh, mahaba yung file. It's a... Nung natranscribe na siya, it's a four-page file. Uh, at uh, kailangan talaga mag madaling ma-reference kung ano yung portions ng audio yung dapat i-edit. So, so if you notice, this is a 40-minute uh, audio, kapos it was converted into four pages. Pero actually, three pages lang siya kasi yung first page niya is only uh, parang title. No? Kapos yung buong transcription, actually yung buong transcription niya parang two pages lang. Kaya kailangan talaga ma ano mo siya, maging efficient ka dun sa process mo na pag-capture ng information. So mas madali kang if you can listen pero immediately type it right away the better. Kaya kung halimbawa marami kang spelling errors o hindi mo alam kung paano i-spell yung word o kung paano mo naintindihan yung audio file na shinare, then babagal ka talaga. Kaya kailangan dito mag-practice ka na mag-practice. So, you're improving not only your listening skill, but also your typing skill in the process and making sure that you are also accurate in the process. Alright, so that's an example there. So, kung gusto niyo talaga mag-practice, um, pag nag-apply kasi kayo sa kanila, sa Scribby, so, meron dito siyang practice, no? So, so kung mag-a-apply ka na, meron dito yung introduction kapag mag-a-apply ka na. And of course, di ba sinabi kanina na meron silang verification? Magbabayad ka ng... Magbabayad ka dun sa... Tama ba? So dito kung mag-a-apply tayo, no? So kailangan mo mag-take ng test. Okay? So you need a verified PayPal account. So yung transcription process, yan, susundan mo siya. So, kailangan mo yata mag-verify. Okay. Tapos, ito yung guidelines niya kung paano mo i-go through yung verification process. Tapos, ito yung file. 
And then, in-explain din nila yung kanilang terms, FAQ. Pwede ka mag-practice, alright? So, pwede ka mamingi ng audio file, tapos mag-practice ka. So, for example, pinlay mo yan, ito ang pagpapractisan mo. So, ina-encourage ka na i-go through mo yung lahat ng mga practice video para um, ang mga practice audio para wag ka mag apply kasi kasi pa nag-apply ka na magte ka na naman ng another test so kung medyo kulang ka sa practice magkakaroon ka ng problem right actually say anything in Austrian he wasn't even accused of saying anything. He was accused of perhaps planning to say something that violated an Austrian law that says only one version of the history of the Second World War. Okay, so mapansin nyo. Uh, mapapansin nyo, mayroon siyang inaano para hindi ka nang gumagamit ng mouse. So may mga sinasabi siya na ano yung mga pwede mong gamitin na command keys para masanay ka sa kanya. So kaya gusto ko itong si Scribby kasi kahit pa paano, mayroon siyang yutulong ang kanya para makapag-prepare ka. Before ka you actually before ka you actually apply, okay? So so maglalag in ka, you verify mo yung account mo with PayPal, tapos hihintay mo yung progress ng iyong application, no? So sabi dito, um, kaya siya kailangan ng verified PayPal account kasi dun kanya papadala ng bayan, okay? I think wala naman siyang oh, wala naman siyang hinihingin bayad no para makapag-apply ka. So I think that's good. At least wala siyang hinihingi uh, any money from you. Kapos meron pa nga siyang bonus na nagbibigay siya ng $5 bonus for every 3 hours completed each month. So at least mas marami kang mako-complete. So mas marami kang pwedeng makuhang work. After you have been certified, uh you can log into your account with your email address and select any available file. Kapos yung files are on a first come, first serve basis. So mukhang kailangan mo, kailangan mo talaga i-go through yung entire process, no? Para maka, ano ka, makapasok ka dito. Kaya ang suggestion ko sa inyo, huwag kayong basta-basta mag-create na account at mag-apply, no? Uh, kasi gaya nga, no? Mag-apply ka, confirm mo yung email, hintay mo yung invite. Pag magka-create mo ng invite, hindi mo kagad tinake yung test, baka makasama pa siya sa'yo kaysa sa makabuti sa'yo. Kasi sabihin sa'yo, hindi ka sigurad disidido. Kaya by the time na ready ka na mag-apply, ready ka na mag-take ng test, ayaw ka nang pataki ng test. No? Kaya sinasabi natin na kailangan uh, you should be ready before before lodging your application on the site. Alright? So, this is one site that you can check. Uh, ito yung sinasuggest ko talaga na um one of the sites that you really have to take seriously kasi kahit na hindi ka dito mag-apply, yung mga binigay na lang niya ng mga audio files, makinig ka sa British accent, American accent, yan, Australian accent, African accent, Indian accent, tapos uh, accent, tapos gawin mo yung buong transcription, pwede ka magsimula sa mga low difficulty before you proceed to medium difficulty and high difficulty. Sa una, definitely mabagal ka, pero the more you get accustomed to it, then doon mo makikita kung gano'ng kaka-efficient. Pero ang suggestion ko kapag ginawa niyo siya, mag-focus kayo sa kanya para makita niyo rin for a 6-minute audio file, how long will it take you to transcribe it? For a 4-minute audio file, how long will it take you to subscribe it? Kasi you need to set benchmarks for yourself, no? Para makita mo yung performance mo. Gano'ng ka ba ka-efficient mag-work, no? Sa uh, using all of these files that are available. Alright? So that's uh, Scribby. Dot com. Another site that you can also check out and look for project opportunities is the Smart Crowd. Pero yung mga project opportunities nila depende sa country. So sa Philippines, wala ako nakita na meron transcription na work dyan. Pero FYI na lang, the Smart Crowd is also uh, yung sa mga tinitingnan ng mga tao naghahanap ng online job. So this time, we, we look at Verbalink. So, Verbalink, go to verbalink.com. Uh, okay. So, tingnan natin yung services ni Verbalink. So, 2003 pa raw siya, offering transcription services, writing services, localization, and subtitling. 
Tapos, uh, ang sinacharge nila sa client nila ay $1.50 per audio minute. Okay? And then, um, so yan yung kanilang service. Na kung gusto mo mag-apply dyan, meron sila ditong jobs page that that explains kung paano ka pwede mag-apply. So, highly skilled linguist to add work, to add to the growing team. So, inano ka agad na highly skilled. Kung gusto mo na mag-apply ng proofreader, copywriter, editor, you can also indicate that in your email. Uh, follow your instructions about attaching your resume in Word and PDF format. So, ito yung mga companies, di ba sabi nga ni JM, yung mga data entry at saka transcription works. Parang hindi mo na siya nakikita sa mga Upwork. Siguro nga kasi dahil may mga ganito ng websites, talagang diretsyo na sila. Uh, kasi may software na ginagamit. So, lahat na doon na sa sites ginagawa. Instead na gumamit pa sila ng mga platforms kagaya ng Upwork or Freelancer and the likes. Now, tingnan natin yung article na na tinitingnan niya. Would you make a great transcriptionist? So, I think this is interesting na ma ano natin. So, if you're applying to become a transcriptionist, six questions. So, sabi niya, kailangan daw, do you, pag tiyanong ka, do you love learning? Kasi you transcribe audio from academic news organizations. So, you will hear a lot of things. So, um, Kailangan yung mga clients daw, mas, yung mga transcriptionists must have general knowledge of current events and American popular culture. So, ibig sabihin, hindi ka magbasa ng news. Um, pag may mga binabanggit ng mga names, hindi ka basta-basta may intimidate sa kanya kasi familiar, na, dahil naririnig mo na yung mga names, uh, hindi ka mahihirapan na espesya kasi there's that level of familiarity. No? So, ayan o. No? Mamood, Ahmad Dinejad, Trayvon, Mar Trayvon Martin, Fogra, Fogra, diba? So, kaya kailangan masanay ka sa kanya, no? Kaya tingin ko, kapag ito ang pinasukan nyo, kailangan mahilig kayo makinig ng mga balita at uh, sa podcast, no? Talagang sharpen your listening skills and then yung mga names yan, mas maging sensitive ka sa mga spelling ng mga names, mga... Uh, pop culture na words no para at least hindi kayo basta-basta ma-overwhelm sa kanya. Ito yung sinasabi nating similar sounding voices. Transcriptionists need to be able to differentiate between the voices of several speakers. Otherwise, you won't be able to attach the right name to the right speaker. Kasi di ba pag walang pangalan, speaker 1, speaker 2, speaker 3, speaker 4, speaker 5. And even if main names are mentioned, pag hindi mo na-identify na si ganito yung nagsasalita, hindi ka mahirapan. Kaya ito yung rule of thumb. If you can tell the difference between your siblings when they call you, you won't be able to tell the difference between 10 focus group applicants that you've never met. So, kaya di ba minsan may mga tumataw sa atin na hindi kagan natin pag hindi lumalabas yung pangalan. Pero di ba may mga bosses na marinig mo palang alam mo na kagad kung sino siya. So, kailangan sa mga kamag-anak mo, the people that you often hear from, kailangan marinig mo pala yung bosses, alam mo na kung sino siya. So, nandun yung sensitivity. No? Although, kung tutusin, yung mga competition, kaya dati naalala ko sa radyo, uh, what was that radio program? I think there was a radio program before. I think that was ba yun? Pag nakikinig ka sa AM. Pero silang contest na may may, may, may tao na nasa field, tapos meron silang ipaparinig na audio file, tapos tatanungin sa'yo, who is that person who said who said those words? So, so kung hindi ka gano'n nakikinig sa mga persons or personalities, you won't be able to to distinguish yung voice ng person na yun. So parang gano'n yung idea dito. No? Do you understand people who speak with heavy accents while airplanes are taking off? Okay. Eh, kadalasan, di ba kagaya nung pinakinggan natin audio file kanina, high pitch yung boses ng tao, pabilis siya magsalita, so kailangan um, sanay ka na makinig ng mga audio files na maraming background noise. No? And do you finish your work before it is due? Ayan, so may mga ano sila. Why settle for one day shipping when we can have it today? Alright? So, kaya ayun yung hinahanap nila. Strong command of English grammar. I think yung sabi ko kanina. Uh, it's never time. Hindi ka rin mali, mali sa there, there, at there. 
So, alam mo kung kailan siya ginagawa. Okay? And are you computer savvy? So, yan yung mga questions. So, kung if you can answer yes to all of this, then possible na pwede ka mag-work as a transcriptionist. But answering yes is one thing. Proving it is another. Okay? Tandaan natin yan. Alright? So, check it. Na-check na ba siya? So, sino pa yung pwede natin tingnan? Another site that you can also check out is si Rev.com. Alam nyo, nung pinaprepare ko tong series na to, parang hindi ganun kataas yung expectations ko dun sa mga job opportunities online. Pero nanutuwa ako nung nag-start na akong talagang mag-research and dig into it. Ano yung mga iba't ibang opportunities online? I'm glad na marami pa rin opportunities for transcription. Nung, kasi nung ginagawa ko yung data entry, sabi ko, bakit gano'n wala na akong makita ng data entry? So it seems a lot of the data entry work is really tied in sa transcription. So Rev, uh, on-demand services, $1 per minute ang kanya charge from audio or video to text. Subtitle and captions for videos, $1 per minute. And for translation, they charge 10 centavos. 10 centavos per minute. Okay? So, yan si Rev.com. Now, if you want to work for Rev.com, meron siyang page uh, for freelancers. If you want to join their global team of uh, freelancers, earn money while working from home, choose ka ng schedule, choose your projects, get paid, and grow your career. So, pwede ka mag-apply as transcriptionist, captioner, or translator. Transcriptioner, um, Type what is being said by whom, 0.40 to 65 cents per minute. Pag-captioner, 40 to 75 cents per video minute. At kapag translator, 0.05 to 0.07 per word. Kaya kung tutusin, kung marami kang, may mga alam kang languages, uh, may advantage siya. No? Now, kung mag-work ka as a transcriptionist, eh, since we're talking about audio and uh, video transcription, you go here. No, you go here. So, apply now to become a paid transcriptionist. Pero tandaan nyo, meron na naman siyang online test. Okay? Um, so, kaya huwag kayo mag-fill up nang hindi kayo ready mag-take ng test. Kasi baka, pag hindi kayo nag-take, baka ma-block lang yung account mo, hindi ka na makakapag-apply. Alright? So, pag na-take ka ng test, they let you know within 24 hours at pumasa ka, they let you know within 48 hours if you're approved to start working as a freelancer. And then you can start choosing for work and get paid through PayPal. Okay? You can decide what you want to work on, get paid weekly, choose your schedule, and grow your uh, career skills kasi makakakuha ka ng feedback. No? So, ano ba yung application requirements? Ay, hindi ko na-check ka. Yan. So, sabi dito, kahit na hindi ka nakatira sa U.S., Pwede kang mag-work sa kanila. And uh, ang hinahanap nila ay yung may strong mastery of English and ability to learn and apply transcription skills. Kaya kailangan carefully read the style guide and take your time when applying. Okay? Uh, wala naman siyang age requirement at walang, wala siyang pinapabayad para makapag-work ka sa kanila. I think yung kanina, kaya sila merong background check kasi siguro may mga medical sila at saka marami sila mga private data na pinaprocess. Kaya kailangan siguraduhin na yung nag-work sa kanila. Walang felony charge. Okay? So, that's uh, rev.com. Another site that you can, another page that you can check yung pwede kang mag-apply para mag paglagay ng captions, no? So, yan. Maglagay ng mga captions sa TV shows, modern movies, educational videos, and more. Alright? So, type what you hear. Okay, yan. No? Mga high-quality audio. So, ganun din. Uh, Mag-ano ka, itatry ka. So, most likely, meron kang video na ipoprocess dito at ilalagay mo ng, lalagyan mo ng ano, caption. Okay? Kaya, kaya again, huwag tayo basta-basta susugod ng hindi tayo ready. Alright? Another site that uh, you can also visit to apply for transcription jobs, I see castingwords.com. Uh, 
So, si Casting Words, uh, what they do is also uh, transcription. Okay? So, mga 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 clients sila, karamihan, mga nasa business din, at saka nasa entertainment fields. And if you want to work with uh, Casting Words, meron silang website for freelancers who would like to work with them. Okay? Transcribe, edit, and complete other on short online jobs. Okay? So, dun sila nagpo-process. Diyan sila, no? Tapos, tingnan natin yung kanilang FAQ. Kung ganda nagbabasa ng FAQ. Ayan. So, kung tutusin, wala namang nilagay dito. Sinek ko naman siya, no? Uh, yung mga taga-Philippines, uh, pwede mag-apply. Okay? You must be at least 18 years old. Yun ang nakalagay dito. And then, um, kailangan daw, you schedule, at you can also subcontract uh, to others if you want to. No? And then, ito yung rates nga kung magkano binabayad nila. For transcription, they pay 8.5 cents in a bit over a dollar for per audio minute. So, kung yung isang audio minute, 10 cents. So, kaya kailangan talaga mas improve mo yung typing skills mo para mas mabilis ka mag-work, mas mataas ang accuracy mo para mas marami kang magagawa per minute. So, mas marami kang magawa per minute, then mas marami kang makukuha bayad per minute. Alright? Um... Okay, so yun na siya. So that's uh, castingwords.com. Another site that you can also check to look for online uh, transcription jobs, I see crowdsurf.com. For the crowd, by the crowd. So transcriptioning din siya, and captioning. And then kung gusto mo mag-work sa kanya, uh, meron siyang uh, site dito. So if you want to work there, click mo lang yan, dadaling ka niya sa... Uh, work market. Parang lahat ng applications niya, pinoprocess niya sa work market. So, ito yung sinasabi ko na na huwag kayong magsa-sign up ng hindi kayo ready. Kasi, gaya ko, nung kinraid ko tong account na to para i-develop siya for one of the VA workshops. Pero hindi pa talaga live yung VA workshop. So, nung nag-process ako ng application sa crowd surfing, hindi ko ma-complete yung application process kasi parang magpas na yata ako ng two weeks bago ko nabalikan. So parang hindi na ako makapag-complete ng assessment process. Kaya kailangan talaga uh, sumali kayo kapag talagang ready na kayo na ikumpleto yung process. So kapag okay ka na, mag-onboarding ka na. So ito yung sinasabi ko no, na kapag hindi mo kagad inattendan yung account mo para tapusin yung onboarding process, Pwede ganito lang ang makikita mo. Kaya kaya kailangan the moment na binigyan ka ng name, pinag-ano ka, i-go through mo yung process para ma-start mo na makita yung mga available na project opportunities dun sa website. All right? So if you want to apply sa CrowdSurf work, just click on this link. Okay? So sinishare ko lahat yung mga links natin sa live chat, no? So at least that can help you uh, get started. Another site that you can check out is uh, Got Transcript. So, si Got Transcript, uh, ano rin siya, uh, transcription services, and she na charge yung sa client ay 0.72 per minute. So, napapansin nyo, yung transcription industry is very competitive. May mga $1.50.72. Pero, you know, it's not about how expensive or how cheap it is. At the end of the day, it's all about how reliable is the work, the quality of work that is uh, being submitted. No? So, 0.90 yung kanilang five-day service, pero kapag loyal na yung client, marami na siyang piniplace na work, yun, nakakapagbigay na sila for as low as 0.72 cents per minute. So, meron silang mga 
minibigay na promotion para para mag, mag ano for loyal uh, for loyal clients. Na kung gusto niya mag-apply, meron siyang transcription jobs, so they pay 0.60 per audio minute. Alright? So, pag ready na kayo, click mo na lang yung apply now. Pwede ba to? Yan. We hire anyone worldwide. It doesn't matter where you live. Kasi nung una, yung mga listahan ko, masyad, mas marami pa dyan. Kaso, nung, na, nung nakita ko may mga limitations in so far as countries are concerned, so niya narrow down ko siya. Kaya, may sa kinakabahan ako, oh no, ba, ano mag ginawa ko, ba't may napasok na naman dyan? No? So, yung mga iba raw, kumukuha ng, nakakakuha ng average earning of $150 per month, pero yung mga talagang masisipag, kumikita ng more than $1,000 per month. Pero para kumita ka ng more, more than $1,000 per month, kailangan mabilis ka magtrabaho. Fast and accuracy level very high. no So, kung, kung kaya nyo yung iyan yun, then pwede kayo makipag-compete uh, sa market na to. Alright? So, that's uh, gottranscript.com And meron din tayo kaya tawag, meron din isang site, yung hollywoodtranscriptions.com Okay? Although, kung tutusin itong site na to, mukhang matagal na siya, kaya parang napakasimple lang niya, no? O parang hindi naman yata, pero simple lang yung site niya. Tapos, kung gusto mong mag-apply ng trabaho, again, meron lang silang jobs page uh, that you can also check out. Okay? So, may strict deadlines. Tapat tao, nakakapag-type ka ng 65 words per minute. So, makapag-taking ka ng typing test para mapatunayan mo na ang typing speed mo ay nasa 65 words per minute. Kaya, ito yung sabi ko nung last session natin na pwede sabihin na hindi na nagmamatter yung speed. Pero if you want to enter transcription, yan, sinasabi nila. Kailangan 65 words per minute ka. No? Hindi yung... Depende sa tinatype mo nung ka nagiging 65 words per minute. Kailangan meron kang benchmark kaya kailangan talaga practice ng practice. No? Be fluent in English with excellent spelling and grammar skills. Reliable PC and Mac with an internet connection and email account. Yan. So, kapos kung mag apply ka na, yan, fill up mo na lang yung details niya. Wala naman ako nakitang indication sa kanila na they only require uh, US citizens. Kasi usually, pag limited lang yung pwede nilang hi-hire, talagang ini-indicate nila dito na taga US lang yung pwede nilang i-hire. No? Alam niyo nung una, nung makita ko yung mga iba't ibang sites na may job openings, nung una parang iniisip ko, nagagawa ko ng article, listing them down, pero realize ko na inimit ko na lang siya sa mga webinar attendees para at least mag-benefit naman talaga yung mga nakikinig sa webinar so o nakikinig sa video files na to. So, I'm not saying that you should not share, pero kung okay lang sa inyo, uh, since kayo yung nandito, hayaan nyo na muna sana na kayo mga nandito ang mas mag-benefit sa mga links na na-share sa inyo ngayon kasi you really took the time to learn about it. No? Uh, kaya, I'm, I'm not likely to create an article listing all of these websites. Talagang ililimit ko lang yung sharing niya uh, sa mga nanonood ng webinar na to. No? Um, meron, meron kaming iraran na virtual assistance na training series, yung training program sa Rural Impact Sourcing Technical Training. So yung mga estudyante from the provinces na makaka-attend ng training, yan, ma-expose ma ma sila sa mga sites na to. And I I hope and pray na makatulong sa kanila para makakuha din sila ng online jobs. No? So, this is another one, uh, transcriptdivas.com. Uh, okay. So, sa transcript divas, so, calculate ng, ito, ang process nila, calculate the price, send recording, place order, kapos gagawin na nila yung job. No? So, yung mga areas of na sinusubukan nila, yan, video, yung mga pinaprocess nila, video and film, academic, court and legal, and market research. Now, if you want to work for Transcript Divas, meron silang page for jobs. So, kung gusto mo maging Transcript Diva, di ba? So, meron silang dito. Um, 
So, pwede kang mag-apply. So, if they like you, they will... Wala naman ako nakitang indication na na for the US lang sila. Kasi sinabi lang nila na they want to give the same rate to the people who live in the US. Um, so, pero pag ganyan naglagay ka, pakakailangan mo rin patunayan na na saan ka nakatira. Tapos, sabi daw, kailangan mo raw magbigay ng references, verification of experience. Kaya kung wala ka pang uh, experience, then yun ang pwedeng magkaroon ka ng challenge. Kaya kung possible na magkaroon kayo ng client na you can do transcription work with, siguro kahit na pro bono para lang magkaroon ka ng experience para pwede ka magbigay ng reference, you might want to do that. Kasi ang habol mo naman makapag-create ka ng portfolio na kaya mo talaga siyang gawin. No? Although may mga nakalagay naman dito kung first crack mo siya at freelancing, di ba? So, at least pwedeng mas magbigay forgiving din sila. Pero kung gusto mo talagang mas mahar ka, mas malaki yung experience mo, mas maunahin ka. Kasi sabi nila, they receive daw 10 to 20 applications per week eh. So, kung first crack mo siya sa freelancing, baka maano ka, hindi ka priority, di ba? Tapos yan, ano yung makokommit mo, uh, how many hours of poor quality recordings have you transcribed? So, kung wala kang experience sa pagtatranscribe, hindi ka rin gumagawa ng kahit na, no? Hindi mo masasagutan yan. Kasi you cannot, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, yung honesty, integrity, reliability. Huwag mo pepeke, huwag mo i-fake yung application mo. Kasi, pag finake mo yung application mo, makikita yan during the interview kasi you end up clarifying, correcting yourself. It's gonna harm you even more. Alright? Okay. Ako, nagkaroon ako dati ng mga projects sa transcription, pero medyo maaga kasi yun eh. Uh, we, do, we used to do transcription for events. Di ba maraming mga conferences dito sa Philippines? Pero kadalasan nangyayari sa mga conferences lately, parang nire-record lang nila yung ano, ano yung diniscuss doon sa conference. So at that time, ang ginagawa, ang nakukuha kong project before, transcription, nag-offer ako ng transcription services for conferences. So meaning, kung ano yung mga sinabi ng speaker, word per word, sinatranscribe siya. Tapos, uh, depende sa iyo kung ano yung ino-offer mo services. Pwede ka rin mag-offer ng article writing services para makonvert mo into articles. Pero meron mga iba naman na hindi habol yun. So, kadalasan, yun, yun transcription ng mga nangyayari sa events. Ganun din kung meron kang mga, yung mga companies kasi pag nag-board meeting sila, kailangan din nilang gumawa ng minutes of the meeting. And sometimes, making minutes of the meeting takes time, no? Lalo na kung ikaw yung secretary ng board, sa iyo siya na-assign, eh, ikaw naman, feeling mo, you have better things to do than to transcribe a meeting, no? So, yun, pwede ka rin mag-offer ng ganun services for the sake of practice. Kaya kung talaga nag-aano kayo dito, mag-offer kayo, oh, do you have, um, I'm, I'm one to rack up 10 hours of experience in writing minutes of the meeting. Uh, I'm willing to do 10 hours of free work for you. Basta papadala nyo lang sa akin yung audio file. Tumanggap siguro kayo ng ganon para ma-develop nyo yung inyong experience. Alright? Mayroon po ba tayo na iwan? Okay. Ah, sige. Masali ba to? Ah, ito naman para sa mga gusto pa mag-improve ng kanilang speed. So, if you want to improve your uh, or if you want to test your speed also at yung accuracy level mo, you can also check this one. Okay, yung take note na note-taking and transcription on the service. And you can also, yung sa Go Transcript, no? Kanina, meron din siyang practice transcribing. So, pwede nyo rin siyang tingnan para kung talagang gusto nyo lang mag, mag-aral pa kung paano mag-transcribe. Alright? So, I hope, although we had a simple discussion as to what transcribing is all about, kasi at the end of the day, much of what you can learn through online transcribing 
lectures are not enough. At the end of the day, it's all about practice. So, sana yung mga binigay kong link sa inyo, yung mga pwede kayo mag-practice, uh, yung mga sites na pwede kayo mag-apply, may mga test files sila, gawin nyo siya. Lalo na kung talaga kung gusto nyo ito yung pasukan yung uh, field. It's gonna take time. Um, pero kung nakikita mo na isa ito sa mga gusto mong pasukan kasi maybe yung mga specialized skills mo hindi ka pa ganun ka-confident like kalimawa gusto mo maging social media manager pero parang feeling mo hindi pa ako pwede maging social media manager kasi hindi pa ako ganun ka-ano sa kanya I want to start with something simple o kaya senior citizen pwede yung mga senior citizen na rank and file lang yung mga type of task na o type of jobs na ginawa nila at naghahanap lang sila ng exit point then yan pwedeng yun ang it pwedeng dito mag-start no uh, o kaya yung mga teachers no na ayaw mag-online tutor mag mag-online tutors but because of their vast knowledge on subjects that they are teaching they might also be more effective as transcript as transcriptionists no so pwedeng ito ang isa sa mga ano yun nga lang you spend more time typing sa keyboard rather than speaking no pero wala nang po sa at the end of the day basta trabaho it's an honest job we can earn decent money walang trabaho masama di ba uh, ako na in experience ko mag prescriptionist i even have a team of five transcribers before ang kaya transcribe pa namin noon cassette tapes pa kaya medyo interesting yung experience namin and i remember transcribing a three day conference kapos inabot kami na five days finishing the transcription uh, parang kasama na yung mga mm, ah, <laughs> kasi as is eh. so pero it was a very good experience so I would encourage you na tingnan nyo if, look at it if it's something that you can enjoy sa akin na-enjoy ko siya kasi parang in the process you also learn kasi nakikita mo rin yung mga powerpoint files na ginamit nila kapos imamatch mo siya on kaya kung tapusin if you venture into transcribing you'll be surprised on how much information you're gonna learn from other people as well and uh, having a wide grasp of uh, various topics because of that. All right. Um, see, si, um, Aristotle. Personally, I don't have a schedule for inigan. Pero okay, sige. I think I answer ko na siya offline. So thank you very much for joining this session for today. And if you have questions, using our, you can use our chat box to ask your questions. Thank you very much.